Hello, welcome back to Swatch Fest. Yes, I still sound funny. Actually, after last Saturday, I got way worse and this is actually me sounding better. So I actually like completely lost my voice on Sunday and then I'm just slowly climbing back up. And actually, I filmed the OPI Grace Collection review right before this. By the time we get to the end of this video, I might have no voice at all. So we better go ahead and get going. Welcome to Swatch Fest. If you are new here on my channel, Swatch Fest is a video that happens every Saturday where we just look at 10 random polishes from my stash and we just kind of hang out and have a good time and we're not really reviewing like a collection that's about to be releasing or anything like that. This is a much more relaxed video. So find an activity. Maybe you want to do some origami while we talk today. That'd be cool. Um, welcome, welcome. So <laughs> My, my week was, okay, my week was crazy, but not in like a, a really bad way like it was a few weeks ago when I was talking to you guys. Um, just crazy because I, ha I haven't been sick for a while and it's because I take a lot of vitamins, I think. So when everybody got really sick over Thanksgiving and Christmas, I kind of avoided it. And I've been thinking to myself, oh yeah, I'm going to get this anytime now. And then I kept going and going and then, and then I got sick this last week. So Darn it, but you know, it happens. But I was playing with a lot of really fun nail polish, so that's always a super bonus. I had a haul on Snapchat one day where I hauled like, pff, what, it was probably like 100 polishes, I don't know, it was a lot. Because I got I got the OPI uh, Grease Collection, which is 15 polishes, and then my polish pickup order came in. And I kind of went over my five polish limit that I usually set for myself. It's getting harder and harder to limit that because all the polishes are so awesome and I want all the polishes. So um, I also found the Spring Crayola Collection from Sally Hansen. It looks like this. Aren't these cute? Oh my goodness, they did a spring version. Ah, oh, it's so cute. So I haven't swatched them yet, actually, to let you guys know if they're a good formula, but I bet they're pretty good. And then I also got my Kiko order, which was a lot of polishes. Um, was that the same time? I No, I got my trans design before that. So anyway, my swatch bin is looking hefty. We have lots of things to choose out of it. It's looking nice and plump. So um, yeah, later when we pull polishes, you'll see. Anyway, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I have I polish in every color for you today. Do I have any throwbacks? No throwbacks. So all new polishes to Swatch Fest. If you don't know, sometimes I do a throwback shade in here because sometimes my swatch bin is looking low. And I won't have a shade like orange or like, you know, a yellow sometimes new, but I have all new stuff for you today. So let's start in with a polish pickup from last month. So our first polish today is from Never Enough Polish, and this was from last month's polish pickup, which was um, base, polish is based on books. So this was based on the book, The Notebook. And Never Enough did a beautiful kind of warm, it's like a warm berry. It's a mix between like a berry and a cranberry, but cranberry is a berry, right? So anyway, it's not too warm, and it's uh, hollow, and it has a little flex in there, and it's very beautiful. It swatches so nicely in two coats, so that's what I'm going to show you today. And I just had to get this polish. You guys know I have too, way too many reds by now. I do not need to buy any more reds, given that it's not particularly one of my favorites. But I love this film. I actually have to admit I've never read the book. I've never read any Nicholas Sparks books, but I love the film so much. So I'm a total sucker every time he says, if you're a bird, I'm a bird. It just melts my heart. <sighs> Ryan Gosling. Okay, anyway, so let's watch it. Next up for pink, I have a Simple Colors Porcelain Matte Shade. You guys remember? It was that release where it looked like Alice in Wonderland and there were all these pretty matte pastels. This must be from like, what, a year ago? 
what is wrong with me? That's how long sometimes things sit in that swatch bin. Actually, this is from that bin of stuff that I lost. Remember how I lost that whole thing of civil colors and then I was like, oh yeah, there you guys are, a little piece of dust. So that's why I hadn't swatched this in so long. This is called We're All Matte here and I really like this. I like how it gives a kind of like soft, more like ethereal vibe to a matte. I really, really like it. It's a corally pink and I actually wish that um, you guys heard me talk, if you watched the OPI Grease uh, review, I wished that their leather-like polishes were a little bit more like this. Like, because I don't really think of leather as being like gritty. I more think of it as like, I don't know, just very soft and very comforting. That's what this makes me think of. So, let's watch it. I just want to go ahead and admit something to you guys. I have decided to fully embrace the fact that I love to wear hats. Okay, so <laughs> over the past couple months, you've probably figured out that I love to wear hats, and I've been suppressing that in myself. I think my whole life, when I was a teenager, I loved hats. And you know what's funny? My mom, I'm just thinking about this right now, she had a whole wall in her room covered in decorative hats. She would collect vintage hats. I don't even know why I never thought about this before. And sometimes she would let me get one down and wear it around. That must have started it. When I was a little tiny baby, I fell in love with hats. Now, I've never been like a collect type hats type of person, but I really like to wear them. I think that they feel good. I like to wear baseball caps. I like, I like to wear hats. But <laughs> it's kind of funny realizing that my mom collected hats, but when I was a kid, she would tell me that I didn't really look good in hats. She didn't mean it in a bad way. I think she was just trying to help me look my best or whatever, but she would be like, oh no, you don't really look good in hats. Wear your hair like this or whatever. And she would always do my hair in these fancy hairdos. My mom uh, missed her calling of being a hair lady because she is awesome at hair. Anyway, so <laughs> I never wore hats when I was a teen and like, I, I realized earlier in February, um, I was just like wearing one of Tim's hats and I was like, why am I wearing Tim's hats? Let me go ahead and freaking buy my own hat. So uh, here I am about to be 35 and I'm embracing the fact that I love to wear baseball caps. And I feel like such a weirdo sharing this fact with you guys, but like I never let myself do it before because my mom, kind of ingrained in me that I didn't look good on them and that it made me a tomboy and even though like at, at, now here I am as an adult and I would never I don't feel like I would ever tell my daughter no you can't do that because it makes you like a tomboy but this was a different time I am fully embracing it you guys that was a really long story to tell you that I discovered some things about myself this last month and I'm not going to deny it anymore that I like to wear hats so uh, you've probably been seeing me wearing hats a lot on Snapchat because it's just my jam. It's my jam now and I won't wear a cap every single Saturday. I was going to say I won't wear a hat, but you've been seeing me wear a hat in like almost every swatch of us this month. Um, but anyway, this is me now, you guys. I wear hats and I embrace the fact that I love hats. Okay, so next up we have orange. It's like a peachy, well, it's it's a peach. It's not really orange, it's peach. And it's nice. This is from Sally Hansen and Rite Aid had like this big bin of Sally Hansen and all the different lines clearance down to $2 or less. And I was looking through them and I was like, oh, these are gonna be like be all the same shade. No, they weren't. So I bought like 30 different, <laughs> almost 30 probably different Sally Hansen shades to fill up Swatch Fest. So I have 
Had a lot of new Sally Hansen in there, which um, I know. I was thinking to myself while I was buying it. I was like, learn your lesson. Remember when you bought all those color clubs and you didn't like them? But <laughs> I didn't learn my lesson, apparently. So hopefully they're all good. That's all I got to say about that. Okay, for yellow today, I have this beautiful holographic gold, you guys. It's so, so pretty. So this polish is from Stella Chroma, and this is my first time swatching a polish from them. I actually purchased her Harry Potter polish that she did for the book theme last month for polish pickup. And then when it came time for us to pick our, we actually picked our polish theme a uh, month over a month ago um, for April coming up, um, Pam, the maker of Stella Chroma, and I both picked space balls and so we talked to make sure we weren't stepping on any toes or anything and we weren't but we both love the film and so we had been talking about what we were going to do and we decided to swap polishes this month so i have her polish to share with you this is going to be available april 6th through 9th at polishpickup.com whenever i talk about polish pickup remember it's a limited exclusive event only available at polishpickup.com for four days that's it some of the polishes have caps some do not. What that means is you have to hurry to get there before they're all sold out because a, ma a maker maybe only has a certain amount of a product to make that uh, many polishes. And um, like I said, some polishes don't have caps and you can just shop your leisure during those four days. I oftentimes go back and make a second purchase because they combine uh, purchases. All shipping for US is $3 flat rate shipping no matter how. I would. $3. $3. <laughs> $3. Just like Moonshine Manny, $3 flat rate shipping US. So, um, and they do also have flat rate for Canada and everywhere else, I believe. So anyway, um, yes, okay, let's talk about this polish. So this polish is inspired by Spaceballs, which is what I was inspired by, so you know I already love the source material for this. This polish is called May the Schwartz Be With You. By the way, April polish pickup thing is called Across the Universe, so it's like galaxies, planets and all that kind of stuff and the film Spaceballs is like a satire movie um, making fun of Star Wars basically and I watched it a lot when I was growing up I wasn't aware of how much language there was in there and inappropriate stuff so when I'm watching it with my little kids I'm like what but my dad had edited that video he had a VHS and had edited it and taken out all everything in there that he didn't want us to hear so I was like oh but anyway, I still really love the film. May the Schwartz be with you is the thing that the kind of Yoda-like character says to the main protagonist. And he's like, like, may the force be with you, but may the Schwartz be with you. It's just like the part of the satire. Part of their making fun of it. It's it's a beautiful gold, scattered holographic. It's more like um it's more like a micro glitter, full coverage micro glitter is how I would think of this. There's so much gold holographic glitter in here that basically makes up the whole polish. And then in the base, we also have like some gold, I think it's micro flakies, I'm not exactly sure, but I think that's making up the rest of the coloration. This is stunning. So much holographic, you guys, it was so much. Okay, are you ready for a lot of holographic? Let's swatch it. It's so beautiful, two coats, nice juicy top coat on top. So if you like gold polishes like me, um, you'll really like this one. So may the Schwartz be with you. And you have to say it like that.
we're just going to move right along because I've already done a lot of talking, you guys. Let's go in to blue and green, and I actually have two more polish pickups for you right here. We're all having them, right? In the same little spot. So next up we have green. This polish comes from Caloris to Carol. My buddy Carolina made this polish, and it's a beautiful minty kind of blue-toned green. And it's a linear holographic. It also has Aurora pigment in it. Aurora pigment is a really popular pigment that's used in Andy nail polish. Basically, it has a very high, um, like, shimmering, uh, shifting, shimmering quality to it. And this polish also has hollow dust in it as well. So it's very sparkly, very shimmery, very holographic. It's called Jupiter's Twin. And this polish is inspired by the green planet. I'm going to put up an image like I did for the Stella Chroma. Here's the inspiration photo for this polish. So don't forget. I know I just told you, but don't forget. Um, if you are interested in any of these polish pickup polishes, you have to go there from April 6th to April 9th. Specifically there. This will not be on Chloris to Carol's website. So let's go ahead and swatch it. I'm going to do two coats with top coat. Okay, last up for this month's coming up polish pickup, we have the Moonshine Manny polish. So I already told you my inspiration was space balls. Here's my inspiration photo. You guys know I love to make polishes inspired by movies, songs, TV, pop culture references, all that fun stuff. Um, so I thought space balls for sure. And the first thing I thought of was, you know, well, if you've seen the, the film, the part where they're going through space at light speed, but they're actually going in ludicrous speed because they're making fun of space travel. And so it's like light speed and then ridiculous speed, I think, was the one in between. And then they go to ludicrous speed and they're going so fast that they just like skip over everything. They, they skip forward in the movie so that they're like current in the movie. They skip so far so forward, forward so far. So I thought of making a polish that would look like that screen with the lines going, you know? So the first thing I knew I was going to put in this polish was some hollow little specks that look like that would look like that, you know, that would give that kind of silver dash in the sky. And then when I was looking at this inspiration photo, I was looking at those colors in the back there and the purple and the teal and the pink. And I was like, yes, let's do a multi-chrome with those three shades. So that's what we have. This polish is called Ludicrous Speed. And so basically that's exactly what it is. It's actually started with a dark blue base, but because there's so much multi-chrome in it, it looks more like a teal as it stands there all the time. And this polish has actually gold, green, teal, pink, and purple in it at different angles depending on how you turn your hand, but primarily it looks like a bright purple shimmer and then a teal shimmer. And then you're seeing everything in between there. So. This polish is really, really fun. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> one of my favorite components I added was actually a chameleon flaky. The chameleon flakies are the ones that are iridescent, so you can actually see the light going through them. And I added a bright orange to gold to green, so that against the teal, you're getting that bright flash of orange. And that also kind of made me think of like the galaxies where you can see the stars speckled in there. So this polish, I don't know if you could tell, but it was really fun to make.
And one last thing about this polish, I had so much fun creating it that I decided to make my April quartet of polishes all be inspired by Spaceballs as well. So if you like this movie as much as I do, you can look forward to four more Moonshine Manis inspired by the craziness of Spaceballs. We'll go more into that next week, you guys, but I'm really excited for you to see them. All right, let me tell you some of the things on my face. I'm just gonna pull them out of my bag here and not really care about what order. I'm wearing uh, this Physician's Formula. That's such a favorite, you guys know. So many of these things today are favorites. I'm wearing a Tarte Shape Tape. On my eyes, I have the um, Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. This has quickly become one of my very favorite palettes of all time. So if you haven't purchased it yet, for the smell alone, it's so, so good. I wore this bad boy again, which was that color that I got in the wrong shade, so that's why I'm gonna look a little more tan today. I have not gone anywhere fun. I have this L'Oreal in my inner corner. Um, this is Ice Latte, I love that. I have Luminoso on as my blush. I'm really flushed today because it actually feels a little bit warm and I might have overdressed today. Um, and then in my inner, uh, my uh, waterline, I have this L'Oreal Smoldering Eyeliner. So that, oh, Lippy. I love this Lippy and I'm so happy to recommend it to you. So light years better than the last higher end lip product that I got, that Too Faced one. This is my first Laura Geller product that I've tried. This is called the 50 Kisses Lip Locking Liquid Color and it's in the shade Ravishing Rose. Again, another product that I hardly even remember that I have on. It's so easy to wear. I'm, it's a tiny, tiny bit of tackiness, like the tiniest bit ever, um, but it just dried down really nicely. It was so easy to apply, and it feels like there's a lot of product in here. How much product is there? I don't know how to see. Three milliliters have product, so I don't know, actually, if that's a lot. Okay, now I got curious. That Too Faced that I didn't like that I was telling you guys about has 0.23 milliliters. So it has more than Too Faced. Anyway, that's just a random thing. I was just curious. I really, really like this. This was out in front in Ulta. I just went in there randomly. I actually hardly ever go into Ulta anymore. Um, but it was like out on the table and they were half priced. They were like the special deal of the day or something. And so I picked one up and I really like it. But I think if I go back to get more, they're all gonna be back to the $20 or whatever, so. Okay, so for purple, my purple was actually my A+. I actually rarely had a lot of favorites this week. All of the polishes premiering for this next month's polish pickup were my A+, but I am going to show you, I don't know why I'm using this voice. I'm gonna show you a purple that is just so, so beautiful. So yeah, um, I put another purple in, and this is Kiko 523. This is kind of like a purpley blue. You could wear it as either, it's an indigo. It's just gorgeous, it's a cream, and it's very deep and I love it. So, let's watch it. of my voice yet you're real troopers to stick it out with me this long with me sounding like this um okay I will only grate on your nerves a little while longer let's move on this is very pretty I purchased this from trans design when I was trying to fill up my swatch bin over there and this is this light champagne gold this is the same kind of gold that I put in possibility actually it's a very light kind of white gold but that's a hollow glitter that I put in there I was just thinking about that because I was just making a little bit more a little while ago and pouring in all this beautiful gold glitter. This is called Don't Blink. It swatched night. Like it it got almost fully coat. It got almost full coverage of one coat. And at two coats it was really, really good. So you can wear this textured and matte, or you could gloss it up if you would like to see all that sparkle.
okay, you guys. So usually I can pick this up with one hand. Not so much anymore. Look at that. I know. I said I was going to go shopping, and then I went a little overboard. But it wasn't my fault because Rite Aid had crazy sales, and places were having sales. So this is so much nail polish. Let's go ahead and pick some polishes. So you guys know I'm going to pick five polishes that won't be surprises for next week, and then the rest of them will be surprises. So let us pick. This is going to be fun. It's all new stuff. This feels like an indie polish. Oh, this is Scoflaw. Okay. I'm not going to be able to talk long about each one because this bin is so heavy. This is from last month's polish pickup. It's called the Lady Amalthea. Amalthea. And I'm really excited. This is my first Scoflaw. Next up. Oh my goodness. We have another from last month. I'm going to dig deeper on the next polish. This green. Look at that. This is from Bluebird Lacquer. Bluebird Lacquer. Yeah. Charitable Deceptions of Nostalgia. Also from the book polish pickup. Okay, another Sally Hansen. Yep. This is Mauvin on up. This does not really look mauve to me, but that's all right. My arm is about to fall off. Okay, let's go way over here. What is this? Oh, okay, so this could go in our glitter or our pink. This is a Julie G. Very sparkly glitter called Trinket. Was that part of the Mardi Gras collection? That sounds familiar. That might have been part of the Mardi, Mardi Gras. Okay, pull one more. It's a Kiko. No, it's not. What's wrong with me? This is a Color Club. Okay, Kiko doesn't even feel anything like Color Club. I'm gonna blame it on the fact that this bin is so heavy. Okay, so yay, a beautiful yellow neon. I got a bunch of neons from Color Club from Trans Design. Okay, so now we're on to glitter. This is a China Glaze that I purchased from Trans Design. And it's from my past Christmas collection. It's called This is Tremendous. And this is a full coverage micro glitter. I'm going to show it to you as a full coverage uh, polish. I'm going to swatch it for you three coats. And then I'll show you it as a topper too so you can see your different options. I love it. Look at that. It's beautiful green. And when I swatch this, you can also see that it's like equally gold with the green. They put both kinds. They put them together. Um... Yeah, this is really, really pretty, you guys. And I love a good uh, micro glitter from China Glaze. However, you do probably want to wear some peel off base coat. Quick second on peel off base coat. I do remember seeing the comment somebody was asking about um, some of my chunky glitters, what I would recommend as far as peel off base coat. The thing about peel off base coat is they don't dry on me fast enough for me to actually give them the opportunity to be worn under glitter. So I can't really recommend you one. In general, I would say I usually like something more like Oont or Unt or whatever it's called because it's not the, like the Elmer's glue kind. But I just tried to do it again the other day and I waited for five minutes and it still didn't dry on me. And I was like, I'm not going to wait any more time. I'm a busy lady. I don't have time to wait for this to dry. So I just went ahead and painted over it and then took this polish. I was using it for this polish because I was trying to not have a mess when I took it off. And I just did it underneath this and then just used my acetone to take it off. So I don't really have one to recommend for you guys because I need like a really fast drying peel off face coat. If you know which one's fast drying, let me know. But yeah. I don't have one necessarily to recommend to you. I would just suggest try the two different kinds, like the Elmer's glue kind and then the clear kind, and then see which one you like better.
Okay, you guys, time for A+. So this week, my A+, polish comes from Lynn B Designs. So this is a indie brand that we've seen here on my channel before. And in, what month was that? February, where that was the crystals and gemstones for polish pickup, she released this purple, light powdery purple Crelly, where it has a very thin purple base, but there's so much, um, <clears throat> I meant very thin, very sheer not thin there's so much multi-chrome flaky in here that it covers your nail in multi-chrome flaky this must have been so expensive to make you guys so I really appreciate that she didn't charge an arm and a leg for this um, because multi-chrome flakies are expensive anyway this is called biz mythicorn and it is so beautiful if you like purples, I really hope you went to Polish Pickup in February because this is so pretty. Okay guys, it's time to pick a winner for this week's watch list. Well, it's actually picking from last week's comments. Don't forget, if you if this is your first watch list video, I know I explain this every week, you guys, so thanks for being patient with those who are new. But every week I do a giveaway for six polishes from my stash, and it's a way to help me de-stash. All of my polishes have only been swatched once for these videos. Um, so if you want to enter, just go down to the comment section and you can tell me that you would like to be entered into the giveaway. You can tell me anything you want to along with that as well. You can tell me what you were doing during this video or what your favorite polish was this week. Please remember you guys, part of the um, rules for the giveaway is that you are subscribed, but also you need to make sure that your subscriptions are public. As of today, we had 187 comments on last week. I'm going to plug that in to my random number generator and I will be right back. All right, so I have counted through the comments and found my winner, and she is subscribed with our subscriptions public. Yay! Okay, so my winner is Beth Magalski. Thank you, Beth, for following the rules, but also thank you for coming to Swatch Fest. Thank you for leaving a sweet comment, and thank you for entering my giveaway. So all you need to do is go find my business email in the description bar below. It's like a little treasure hunt. You guys can all head down there. You can see stuff like the names of the songs that I record for this video that you're hearing playing in the background. You can see the, all the names of the polishes listed down there again, lots of links for different things. So anyway, Beth, I hope to hear from you soon. Send me an email and we will talk about what kind of polishes you like. So that is the end of Swatch Fest. Thank you for being here, you guys. I really appreciate your time. I appreciate you hanging out with me. I appreciate your solidarity that we all love nail polish together and we just don't care that we love nail polish. I embraced that a while ago. Why couldn't I embrace the fact that I love hats? I don't know what's wrong with me. But there's nothing wrong with me anymore because I fully accept that about myself. Okay, okay, we won't get going on that again, you guys. Um, yeah, that's it for today. I hope you have a super rest of your weekend. Don't forget to come back on by next week. We have a lot more things to look at and talk about. I don't know what I was able to get up on my channel this last week after the Grease collection, but we have Essie Spring, we have I Love Nail Polish Spring, we have Zoya Summer, I have a new collection, a little trio from Chloris to Carol to show you guys. I have those Sally Hands and Crayola polishes to share with you guys. Anyway, lots of fun stuff. I hope to see you there. Thanks for sticking it out with me today uh, with this horrible voice. Um, you guys are just the bomb. So I will see you back very soon. Take care. Bye.